Um, I think so far the data that I've looked at um, with regards to that on the CDCs, um, and there's not really been um, direct correlation between getting vaccinated and death. Um, I know that Johnson & Johnson vaccines can cause some blood clot, and um, and the CDC came up with some new guidelines on um, how to treat that, as well as um, certain patient populations that that may not be the um, ideal vaccine for. For example, if you're somebody that you have a history of blood clot, then uh, most likely you better off getting um, like a Moderna or j and vaccine versus Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Um, but as far, as far as direct correlation between receiving a vaccine and you're dead because of the vaccine, um, so far there's not been any link between those two. Yeah, that's really helpful. Um, Dr. Fletcher, I wonder, do you have anything to add to that? I mean, we keep a close eye on this, just like, you know, as pediatricians and Dr. Etienne, as family, um, family physicians, we keep such close eye on side effects and adverse events post-vaccines. You know, we've seen, of course, you know, many, many people die from uh, COVID disease itself. Um, but what do you tell people if they ask you, does... Does the, is the COVID vaccine associated with death? I guess I would add that in the beginning of the vaccination effort, we were vaccinating high-risk patients, so people who already had known high-risk medical conditions. And so the mortality rate alone without a vaccine is higher than the general population. And so that can make it seem like the vaccine would cause a death. But when you look at the epidemiologic studies, the VAERS reports to see if there's a medical explanation that could potentially or plausibly be linked to the vaccine, it was not seen, except for the exception that Dr. Akron mentioned with the J&J &J and, and the blood clots. Yeah, that's really helpful. And that's a great point. Um, people do die every day from a lot of things. And when we're targeting a 65 plus year old um, population with comorbidities, there is going to be a baseline rate of adverse events, uh, whether they're vaccinated or not. So that's an excellent point. Thank you for helping us with that.